Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to be sharing the Amazon must-haves, my top favorites I've been loving recently. I love to try to do one of these videos about every month because who doesn't love a good Amazon find? So I'll have everything linked below in that description box in case you want to check any of these items out. And I'm going to have a mix of fashion, beauty, lifestyle, a lot of home organization. So let's get started so very first amazon favorite is this product right here which is a makeup brush organizer which i thought initially was just going to be used for solely travel but i use this now as my everyday makeup brush holder and i'll show you why i love it so much first it just looks like an ordinary case but what the reason i love it is that when you unzip it it sits on a table like your vanity and it will stay like upright like that for you so it's like a makeup cup so it's like a brush holder and you could fold the sides down when you're using it. So you could get easy access to your brushes. I just let mine float freely like this, but there are little elastic holders inside to keep them um, around the perimeter of it. And then you could also put some additional products in the center, but I just put all of my brushes I use every single day in here. Um, I have all of them in here and they all fit perfectly. And I even have a ton of room to spare in here. I also love that it has this wipeable interior. So it makes it super easy to clean and wipe down. And then when I'm done, I just zip it up and put it right away in my makeup drawer. And this will keep your uh, makeup brushes so much cleaner, dust free if they're just like sitting out on your table and like bacteria free. So this will like protect them. And I really love that because you want to keep your face brushes nice and clean. So these are really nice. And then I also loved it so much. I ended up getting this other color because I just know I'm going to like use this one a ton and I may eventually need to like replace it or just have another one for travel. Um, but this is another color that it comes in. It's in cream. It's like more, this one's more like a Saffiano, like faux leather. And then it has like a blush pink interior, which is kind of why I wanted to get this one. And then it has a pretty gold zipper detail. Is this sunglasses organizer. This is perfect if you want to organize your accessories. If, especially if you're a sunglasses lover like me, I like to have a variety and this just keeps everything, like I said, dust free. It will keep everything protected so it doesn't crush your sunglasses. And they're all in one place, which is I've been trying to just have a home for everything in my home because I'm just trying to organize every their top display. It gives it that boutique feel and I love the quality of it. Um, and then it has a slot for five sunnies. You can, if they're like a slimmer pair of sunnies, you could probably even fit maybe two pair just depending on the type. Um, but they are really, um, perfectly placed in here and then it even has a slot on the side for like watches or jewelry I just have a bangle in here and also a watch so you can have your watch collection as well in here and it's all in one and then it also just looks and blends beautifully with your decor um, which is why I really like this you can literally just put this on a shelf with some flowers and it will just blend seamlessly random home find but I've been loving these KitchenAid these silicone oven mitts. And then I also have the pot holders. I love the color of these. First of all, they're a nice neutral. They're amazing quality. And I just find that these come in handy. I just feel like these are a good everyday item that are a must have and they're really nice quality too. Next is this car organizer. So this goes over your seat and this is perfect for just all the little things like floating around your car that you want to contain in one spot. So this is really nice. Again, love the color. And I love that it also just has so many slots. So you could put a variety of types of items in here, especially if you're a mom, I could see this being a really handy item to have in your car. Um, but I have some different supplies. Like if I want to have my to do list or anything, if I'm going to be in the car waiting for on like an appointment or something, and I have time to spare in between, you know, different things. I like to be able to jot down some notes. Um, this is, I just added this in here, but um, this is like my pouch. I would have like all my essentials that I would need with me. So this pouch is actually another Amazon find. This is like a Sony Clover look for less. So I purchased the patch and the pouch separately. I will link both of them for you guys if you want to make your own. And I just attached the patch is like a regular sticker on here and it's held up very well and has not fallen off. So this is really nice just for all the little handbag organization or if you wanna pop it in this organizer like I have here, this is really nice. Um, I have my um, other notebook here and then you could put a variety of things like a little pack of tissues, just little snacks and different things like that. There's even a spot for like a bottle of water and 
also this on the side for like a pencil pouch. So I think it's nice and handy to have, like I said, if you do spend some time in the car and then you wanna organize different types of items, this is really handy. Okay, this next find is actually a from my purse um, that I am currently using, my pearl tote bag. Not an Amazon find, but I could um, put the details below if you guys are interested. It's like one of my top worn handbags. I love it so much. I bought this last year and obsessed. And this is what I was gonna show you guys. This is inside here. This is my little lipstick pouch. So it is pink quilted. I love that. And when you open it up, it has this little mirror up top, which is so perfect for when you want to apply or touch up your makeup. So it's all in one, ready to go as you're applying and then lip products go right into this pretty deep pouch here. And um, it holds quite a bit. So you could fit about two to three lip products just depending on the lip products um, size and packaging. But otherwise for me, I, I fit about two to three lip products on average in here, which is really nice. I'm sure there's other types of makeup you might be able to fit in here, like a small little compact of powder or something. But otherwise, this is mainly what I like to use it for. Okay, this sound machine, I don't know about you guys, but I need some kind of white noise to stay asleep. And whenever my white noise machine goes off, like I immediately wake up. I don't know what it is. I need some kind of noise in the room when I'm sleeping. So. This one right here from Amazon, this is a mini portable one. I love this, so I'll turn on. You just hold in this button here. There's a bunch of different sounds, but um, I'll just change it for you guys. So it makes white noise for you to sleep much easier, and especially if you're traveling. This is mainly why I got it for when I travel. Um, I think this is a nice mini size, and it also even has a little light function, so a little night light, so it provides a little bit of light um, if you want that as well. You could change the brightness of it too. There's three brightness settings. Okay, I love this hair product combo or hair tool and product. So you guys know if you have like those little flyaways on the top right here, it could be like pretty annoying when you're trying to sell your hair to get them to stay down. And I finally, well, I've shared this product before, I think with you guys, at least I know on my Instagram I have, but um, I'm not sure if I've shared it here, but if not, I'm gonna share it again because I'm wanting to share this combo. And this is the um, hair stick. So this is like a two part thing. So I first love applying this just like in the roots. I could either use this like on a style I have today, like right now I actually, I didn't even use it yet today and I probably could use some because um, I might have a couple minor like flyaways right here. So you just brush it over the top and it does not like weigh my hair down at all. Like if you're just doing it this way. Um, so I just brush over the top, it just takes care of all the little flyaways and um, I don't know, I now like notice all my flyaways anymore because if I'm not using it, they're like always sticking up, especially in this section. So um, I love this just for touching up like a style like I have here, but if I wanna do a slick bun, cause I just love a good either slick bun or slick ponytail, you know, like the middle part and like really slick look. So this is perfect to achieve that. So I just like really pretty heavily like glide this over my hair. And then what I do, these are the tools that you definitely need if you want a really good slick pony. I used, when I used to do dance and dance competitions and recitals many years ago, I would use a brush very similar to this because this is what gives you that really slick and smooth hair um, right here up top. So this is in a three pack and actually all three of these come in handy. Um, so this one is good for overall, just getting your hair into a slick pony or bun. So I love this. This, I love this one in particular because it has a really tiny um, narrow end right here. So I could part my hair and it is like, it makes the perfect part. So this comes in the pack. And then also this one looks like a little mini toothbrush. And this one is great for just like, if you have like a front piece, like near your bang area, um, this is really nice. Just like really define or like right by like your ears. You know how like sometimes you have those little flyaways there too, like or shorter pieces of hair. Um, this is perfect for that. So I feel like a lot of these, all three of these brushes in the kit that it comes in, um, come in handy all the time whenever I'm doing styles like that. And along with this, it's like the best combo. Next up, I if you saw my recent girly vlog, then you will have seen these trays already, but I have been on an organization kick in the past few months and I've been showing a lot of my projects on 
think on my, in, mostly on my TikTok, but some I'm posting also on my Instagram reels, but follow along on TikTok if you wanna see some more organizational projects and hauls and all the girly things there. Um, it's lace and lashes on TikTok, but these are the perfect trays for organizing your vanity or your desk or really any area you wanna organize and use little trays. Um, so this is like a larger size I got, and then this is like the smaller one. I have a few of these, but I'll have like a little overlay of my vanity, but they're so perfect for organizing your vanity drawers or your if you're in your bathroom, if you have drawers and you wanna put like your toothbrush or toothpaste or different things in these like trays. I have the um, the other brushes I just showed you guys, they all go in this like larger tray. And then the smaller ones are great for makeup too. So I love those and they have gold detailing. I think they also come with rose gold and maybe regular clear um, if you didn't want any gold detailing, but they're amazing. Okay, so I wanna share a recent obsession of mine, which is um, press on nails. So recently I just wanted to do my nails at home. Um, I just wanna try to clean up my beauty routine just piece by piece. And not to say I'll never go to a nail salon, I probably will on for special occasions or something like that, but just for every day. It also saves so much money. So I wanted to find a, a solution or alternative to doing them at home that still looks like I feel like when they do them this long, they're so perfect. And then when I try to do them, it's just like, it doesn't turn out anywhere near the same. And so um, the way I found that I could get kind of that salon look for less is with press-ons. So this is the first kit I had bought. I have press-ons right now. And first of all, um, these do last. So this is the first that I ever used to try out the press-ons. They're like a white, they're called the white chrome, which chrome, you know, is so popular. And that's like, kind of like what I used to get at the salon. So I was really excited to find them. And these were the perfect almond shape. Now, if you're not into almond shape, they these nail kits, I'm gonna show you guys, like they make so many versions and varieties of this that you could find short square or almond or rounded. I mean, there's so many different styles of nails. So you could really like search through on Amazon, but I am gonna share the brands that um, actually it's just the one brand that I've been using from Amazon that I have really good experience with. So this is the first kit. I did the, um, white chrome. It lasted me. I used, I will say I used the nail glue and the nail stickers and they lasted me well over two weeks. I actually had some trouble getting them off. So just be patient with it. But, um, yeah, it lasted well. It probably could have even stayed even longer, but they were just growing out. So um, yeah, the nail glue is key if you want them to last you know, the longest, but if you just want a short-term fix, like the other day, I literally just used only the stickers because I only wanted to try these in case I didn't like them, the newer style. I just put the stickers on and they lasted me about 24 hours. I tried them again and then the next time I did it, there was a, quite a few that still lasted over two day, two to three days. So it just depends on application and how like hard you are on your nails. Um, but these blush pink ones, they're so good. They're in this kit right here. I am supposed to like, I was supposed to use a clear top coat of polish with the, this particular one because they kind of come some semi matte, but I just didn't have the time and they actually kind of look still really decent. They look good. I showed these in my girly vlog that I recently posted and you guys may have seen it, but this is what I have left of one of the sheets, but it comes like as a full pack. So here's like a full set right here. It comes with multiple of these. And so you could do a ton of nail sets in these and they all come like that. And this set, I think, I'm not sure. I'm going to link the nail glue though. There's a kiss nail glue. I think it's by kiss that I got. And that's the one that lasted me like beyond two weeks. It was amazing and yeah, I highly recommend if you're looking for press-on nails to check out Amazon because they have some really good quality press-ons. Let's do PJs. So I actually have a few different pair to show you guys. So this pair, I don't know if I shared these in an Amazon favorites, but these are so good. They remind me and they're actually a little bit better than the Nordstrom Moonlit Pajamas. If you guys are familiar with those, I have quite a few of those but i tried these from amazon and i kind of like these maybe a little bit more i think they're a little bit of a thicker material so this is the set here they come in tons of colors so i have the short sleeve and then here's the shorts they wash beautifully they're like butter and they're super cute and just a good basic pj i also um found these so if you guys watch the summer i turn pretty which i love that um little series i think it is such a cute little um, show. 
or series. And it's on actually Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you can watch the Prime video. And it's, I really like it. I'm definitely team Conrad. But um, I, these are from the Summer I Turn Pretty collection that they have on Amazon. These pajamas, they have like the little Summer I Turn Pretty logo in them. And these are the most buttery soft PJs, you guys. I can't get over them. These are really pretty too with the ditzy floral and then the shorts are like the pink little ribbon here and they have like a cinch waist but i think these are a darling set of pjs i'll have an overlay what they look like on and this just fell off the hanger and yeah i think these are so cute and they have the adjustable straps and these the pj salvage brand which these are the pj salvage they're really good quality i've had amazing experiences with their that pajama brand in the past not that particular set, but I've had many pairs of PJ Salvage and they're just a top quality pajama brand. So well worth the price in my opinion. Um, and they're just a good classic pajama. And speaking of the other pajamas, I might as well show you guys these other Summer I Turn Pretty PJs. Um, these I did not, you know, get to washing or wearing yet. So I figured I'd just still share them because this is the other style that they have and this is like the little pink button floral button detail these look prettier in person i don't think the camera's going to do it justice it looks like a plain solid top but it has a pointel little like daisy detail i think one of the characters has a necklace that has a daisy in the series it has that little daisy print so it's kind of like inspired by the show and then here's the little shorts they have a little pink bow which is really really cute and before i forget i really quickly want to mention my frames that i recently got from amazon surprisingly i could not find this certain size and style of frame and i found them from amazon and I, they came in a pack of three so i got two sets for my little gallery that again if you saw my girly vlog recently i shared how I put that together in above my vanity. And that was such a fun project to do because I got these Parisian prints from Etsy and then they were the perfect frames for the whole vibe I was going for. Cause in my bedroom, I'm doing like Parisian glam. This was perfect for those. And the frames are really nice quality. I just use command strips to hang them, but I thought they were a beautiful frame. So if you're on the lookout for some frames, don't sleep on Amazon for that because I was very pleasantly surprised. Okay, I have some office finds. I'm gonna be like reorganizing my desk because it really needs some reorganization. And especially with paperwork and stuff, like all the different files. And so I got one of these little clear acrylic file holders, it has like this handles on the side. So you could just put this like under your desk or on top of it or something like that. If you don't have too, too many, I definitely want to get like a larger file cabinet. But in the meantime, I think just for some, you know, daily things that I need to reach for, I think this would be really nice. And I love an acrylic detail. And then I also, speaking of the acrylic look, I have this acrylic and gold little letter holder, which I'm going to use on top of my desk for any mail incoming or outgoing mail or just like any papers or bills that need to be paid. I will put in here and then if I need to get to, if I don't get to it right away, I can put it in here and know I have to get to something like that. That's going to be like my system that I'm going to use because um, sometimes I'll put like some paper that I'm opening mail and then, you know, something comes up and I didn't get to it right away. Um, then I'll just slip all the bills and paperwork that I need to get to or has that needs attention I will put in here. Okay, a little travel find. I was really excited to find this. Um, I'm gonna use this on my next trip, but it is this little contact lens case. And it is so cute because it comes in this case. It has like a little mirror in inside too, which is nice for your handbag. So if you're a contact lens wearer like I am, then this is really nice even for your bag because you never know like if you need to take your contact out or have an issue with it, then it's just nice to have this on the go, especially with the mirror, which I need a mirror to put mine. Let's talk about these sandals that I recently got. I was so excited excited because I have been I've had the Dior sandals that look very similar to this on my list but I just I don't know I couldn't get myself to like I didn't know if I was gonna like love them that much to like splurge on them so then I decided to get these and now I kind of I'm like okay well maybe eventually I'll like splurge on a nicer quality pair but I think these are really nice in the meantime anyway or for a good look for less it's like insane actually the only thing that we've been missing is like the only thing that 
makes you realize it's not Dior is that it doesn't say Dior right here and that's it. Um, the rest looks totally the same vibe. So I think these are so cute. I just saw these the other day with like sweatpants. You could just wear them with a cute pair of denim shorts and a cute top. I mean, there's so many ways to style these for summer. These are like the it shoe right now. And these are really comfortable. Now I personally had to size up a half size. So if you're in between and not sure, size up the half size. They do have a Velcro on the top. So it is very easy to adjust them to form, like fit a little bit better to your foot. Um, but they're very comfortable. I feel like they're very supportive. Again, everyone has different levels of what they think is supportive. At least for me, I think it is supportive, but it's a good shoe to try out if you're looking for something comfortable and cute. All right, I really wanna quickly talk about, cause it's such a big product. I'm not gonna like hold it up here, but I just recently got, it's the Bissell Green Queen or something. I, I'm probably butchering the name, but something like that. But it is essentially a carpet cleaner. So it's like a wet vacuum. And you guys, so if you've heard my furniture debacle in the past, you'll know that um, when I was getting some furniture delivered in my bedroom on my white rugs, these guys dropped off my um, bed, like the bed frame, and they were, I didn't realize it, was, it wasn't white gloves, so they just threw a dirty box. Okay, sorry, my camera stopped recording, but they basically had a dirty box that was like drug across my carpet and I had these like dark stains on my rug that I could not get out no more. How many times I swept the rug, it just would not lift or anything, the dirt wouldn't lift. So I finally was like, all right, cause I was in a higher professional carpet cleaner, but I figured, you know, I'm just gonna give this little machine a try. And you guys, it got all the stains out. I even had near my vanity a little foundation stain on the carpet that kind of got on the carpet just like a little teeny tiny stain but it was it lifted everything out it literally looks brand new it's insane so i highly recommend trying out this before like if you have some stains on like your couch or of course you need to t do a test spot but it worked um for me and i just wanted to pass it along in case you guys want to try it out it was a game changer so i'm glad i didn't have to spend all that money on a professional to do it um and this is nice because then at any time if i have a stain or something on a chair or a carpet or a little area rug this will come in handy okay so those were my amazon must-haves and favorites that i've been loving so far if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you wanna see more Amazon finds. And definitely don't forget to hit subscribe below. I'd love to have you join in on this community. And I'll also have a sign up to my newsletter and I have all my social media links below in case you guys wanna follow along there. Otherwise, I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye.